All right, let's get ready for some earnings. We do have a couple fun names this week, both big winners. We'll talk about Draft Kings and Arista Net. Alex Coffey, host of Next Gen Investing, here with me in studio, looking at the options market in these companies. And Paul McCarthy, president at Kisco Capital, back with us this morning. Paul, always good to talk some earnings with you. Uh, both these stocks are up huge, couldn't be more different, but I guess in terms of the bull market, they uh, look almost exactly the same. Let's talk some DraftKings. A lot of betting yesterday. I'm guessing that helps the stock. Uh, yeah, they they, they uh, report earnings. I think on uh, Thursday, and uh, if they're you know DraftKings is uh, them and FanDuel the two biggest, and uh, they're definitely benefiting from uh, you know all the attention that's coming to online gaming. The, the fact that the Super Bowl was in uh, Las Vegas is obviously helps as well. And uh, it's just a, an addressable market that's growing. Uh, I think they'll have to keep, you know, plowing away at getting more states to approve online gambling uh, as a primary way to grow revenues. Um, but uh, they're making progress in that regard to have uh, responsible betting. And, uh, you know, we also saw that uh, BetMGM, one of their competitors, uh, teamed up with uh, Elon Musk X to uh, more or less be able to place bets through online uh uh, through that platform. So uh, obviously there's competition in the area, which means that, you know, there's probably money to be, be made in the area as well. So uh, I think they'll they'll probably have a, a decent report when they come out on Thursday. It's a company that uh, was punished during the bear market uh, very intensely in 2022. What type of uh, credit should we be giving to the management team on not just kind of being in the right place at the right time macro sector wise, but executionally, I mean, do they deserve some credit here for the stock making its way back to 42 bucks after being down at nine? Well, I guess we'll, you know, the rubber is going to hit the road on, on Thursday, uh, so to speak. But, uh, you know, I think they've, you know, from what I can tell, they've advertised pretty heavily to keep their name out there. And I think that's part of uh, the game is just keeping out in front of people uh, and I think that, like I said, I think part of, you know, the rhetoric that they have to deal with is, is to deal with local politicians. And, and so uh, it seems as though now that the NFL has sort of uh, been OK with online gambling, maybe that's going to help, uh, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, from a from a macro perspective, I think as long as the management team is uh, watching their expenses and uh, just trying to keep in front of uh, you know their customers. I think it's a big advertising game because it's easy to switch from one platform to another. Um, you know that's probably the game plan for them, uh, and we'll see if they uh, are, are going to continue to to continue uh, you know on that program. Basically, a pure uh, market share grab right now. It's just uh, doesn't matter really what cost. It seems like the market is giving them free pass to spend and. Uh, market as much as they want to just capture the uh, flows that are uh, coming for the first time in uh, you know different regions as we expand, et cetera. 